And look at this. They are going for something cheeky off the rip. Kesnitz going to tuck deep into the cubby and loud. Oh, I mean. <laughs> but there's two sheriffs actually bought up here, and they just did massive work. Nailed them. And I mean, Melzer as well put the wall up to defend himself, but leaves his teammate off to dry. Going to force this 4v1 on the site here against Nags. Melzer's barely here. Bomb grenade out. Last player standing. Nags trying to get a kill into Aspas from the furthest fringe possible. Not able to do so left. once again against the Sheriff. Now Melzer's left in this 1v4. He's got a frenzy. Planted. He's got a little he space. Here? He's got the element of surprise too, but it's not kept up for very long. I mean, he was in between everybody. Recognizing it's the same thing that happened on Pistol. So yeah. look at Les. He's already watching here, and he's not even worried about the double doors playing. And this is honestly very similar to what they do on other maps as well. We've seen a very similar approach on the defensive side from Crew on Ascent, for example, where they send multiple down a flank, and this time Loud was just ahead of it. They were ready for it, and they just cleaned it up from the previous round. And reclaring art too, but once again, less. He actually gets taken out. There we go. That was a bold repeat by Ashetti too. Not five situation. Remember, it started with the dink. And it may end with the 2K here. Or it may end with an SBS kill. Like that, that was happening over and over and over. Yeah. Just magic from the loud players. Aswas off center plant behind that box in his smoke, avoiding the spam from Kaznit there. And it's down to a 3v3. Yeah. Off of a 5v3, and Loud doesn't have a ton of utility, but they. Yikes. Oh boy. <laughs> Klaus tucking behind. Nice Molly on him. Some utility. Oh, the Cove just saved his life. They have control of this crew, does. I had that back all peak, and. Yeah, there we go. Klaus coming out from the Spike screen. That's spammable. And you also have the flank now for Melzer. Nice. Very doable. Catch. Oh, I mean, that certainly would have helped things for sure. The kill's just escaping them. Loud don't have the spike currently. Enemy remaining. But crew have a round. It was really off of that, what, that 2K with the Bulldog from yeah. Hell? You got crew with a couple of bolts of their own here. One of them has already fallen, but they still have the Seekers for Klaus. It's a big trade. There's not two rounds in a row. Advantage here. Now equalized. Seekers dropped and Les gets caught slipping. I mean, talk, I, that's what I'm, I was give up the advantage because of it. He's patient on the kill still up. Now spam down as Clash trades with a bit of his own. Melzer ahead of it. One enemy Last pass in the 1v1 against Nags. He has blades, light armor. And time on his side, but clean shots from Nags to get online now. Has him with blades and it's aggressive, both of them, but Aspas wins it out. He's gotten two on the round and he's looking for more. Melser on the other side and Ash Eddie close by as well. And they're just gone. So hard to hold this if you're Nags. I mean, he's got a Cascade he has to deal with, a Trailblazer in his face and Molly's in his lap, but Ash Eddie here helps. Gets one with the Bulldog. We're dealing with a really small choke here, loud. This is a tough post plant. Cowan's Eames playing a little bit further back, but they're still tucked. They're still concealed by the pit. As the spike ticks away, crew are gonna have to be pacey about this one. They're gonna have to go. They're gonna have to brave the pit or at least attempt to. Ash Eddie left alone here. I mean, this is Decayed brutal. and dead. <laughs> also able to counter in the middle of their own strats. Able to counter the ult that's placed out from crew. That's some beautiful counter work. It's intended to be a threat and it just ends up being nothing more than a whimper. It's just so easy and so effortless to scale up and clear that out. Up, buddy. Maybe Ash Eddie can do something about this. So he's gotten the first kill on Kawanzine. Uh, he gets the second on. Oh, okay. this kid's good. This kid's real good. What a shift from beautiful. They're going to be able to funnel out here, but again, no key ults for crew to work around. Look at this. They go back for the same post plant oh. to refine what you just said. And it's falling down again. This time, no heroics from Ash, Eddie, and Art, but he is still healthy. He is still alive, and he is still a problem. One for one. Last has gotten a little bit of room to work with. He's going to have to 1v2 this. Somali's going to delay for just a moment. The Cove now cleared, and it's just buying time. Lex has to win. He's out. He's got the first. Got Melzer's Sam weak, angle. and he's dead. The clutch from Les, and the round for Loud. Which is funny, because a lot of other teams 
When they have knives, they'll drop the op to somebody else. In this case, Opus does the opposite. And it's already an opener. A little spam, but Kesna was actually far off. Well played, he slipped the net. They had no idea where he was. Last finding value at the op of his own. Numbers once again in favor of Loud. Those peaks right there are so much easier to hit. Oh. This pit is so ridiculously hard to find the kill on the less because he could place it from belong. It's just tucked around the corner. I mean, you see it on the map. He's he's safe here. Oh, hello. The only way he gets threatened is if they lose backside and they have... But how much more value can they find? They're pushing oh. right into him. That's the pit. That's the round. Fucking fire. Heroics from Ashetti. Crew have made this possible now in this first half. Excuse me, Kaz has spotted. They haven't really scaled. They haven't chosen to threaten. Are they going to try to take this fight? They're patient about it. They're taking their dear sweet time. Not yet. They burned the clock down perhaps a bit too far. Yeah. It's a flawless round for crew. Really nice. I mean, just waiting on the other side of that wall. Now starting to work their way up through art. They have a little bit of help from Nags who's coming in through main. Good flash. Very good flash and better shots from Kesnet. What? That's through the Viper wall. Or the Harper wall, excuse me. Cow and Zine just got a spam on two. Now Les, or Aspas, excuse me, who opened the round with the pick is rotating through. And they've got him trapped in. Yo. This guy is a new demon. Left. And Nax doesn't even have the spike. Ospus also reclearing a main. They know where he ran. Not going to chase him down. I mean, that's that's unlucky for uh, these two new additions. Wow. Flashing through, dropping the wall. Very well done. Beautiful stuff. One I mean, and remaining. honestly, that was well played by crew. To, they were B. all tucked behind the pillar, so there was no flash. Right, they didn't, didn't they hit anybody. Blinded, and there was no info. Not necessarily a guarantee, but right. looks like an easy path for them. Should be. I expected them to, you know, not show as much. I expected them to not put as many maps out into the world as they have. Only so rifle like that they have. Spike planted. Here comes the retake. Two, he's already retaken the secret, and Ooh. the flank fails. Fortunately for Sadak. Here. They've got a three point on this one. Yeah, Ash said he's gone exploring though. Here. He may try to re hit Art on a late flank. And that high tide blocks two players out. The alarm bot is up too. Yeah, he's going to be spotted. He's going to be spotted before he has a chance to make a play. Oh, God. His position's betrayed here. They should know where he is. Yeah, he's shootable from there. How is he getting away with that? How does he get two there? And more info gathered. It seems like Loud want to reposition and reconsider how they want to go about this retake. And they're certainly going to have to now that there's a lockdown that they're going to have to face. Oh, I thought he was dead, man. I thought he had him. They have room to come back into this very fast with the secret flank. Ah, but, but that's going. beautiful from Exeti. That's beautiful from Karu. Some opportunities, but... Uh, you have to get out here. There's too much post. Too many positions to consider. They're going for it, though. They're just limit testing everything. Go either way. Almost no time anymore. No time anymore. And he doesn't keep the ops. So, I mean, that decision, I start. When you can see the setup is almost intended for Kevnet. Look at how far back it is. It's not getting info early, but he dashed around it. He changed his pathing, and he got back sight. Really nice stuff. He's able to clear the nano swarms on the backside too. So Sadak doesn't have that tool. They're getting through a Viper ult with the Reckoning, but Tui's just dominates. Or gets dominated. Kesnit with three on the round already. And he's feeling it right now. He's just continuing yeah, he to is. fight outside the pit. Yes, he is. Tim has really come back into the forefront for a majority of teams, not just the America's teams as well. In the past, it was like the North American teams and like DRX and Pacific and everybody else was using the ladder playing everyone close. Everyone close. Now in the face of the secrets, they scatter. They have to back up. They have to give the space away. And Aspas is challenged. Trade traded back though. And they're pushing spawn to get away from this lockdown. This is beautiful from crew. No. Because why would you be expecting that at this point? But it seems like Kesnit The reload is. gives it up now. He's so weak. 
no health. Shoot, going out. Now Ashetti having to deal with pressure from Kawanzine, from oh, Les, and... All right. He's going aggressive too. Tried making a play. There's still time, but it's really, really low. Yeah, whittling down to a 2v2 here. I don't believe there are any nanos on the site, so it's just gonna have to be spam. No mollies, nothing else. Meanwhile, he didn't get Les is dumping a molly of his own backside. He's got it down to 1v1, 61 HP. The spam just no is time. good, but there is no time. You're absolutely right. But it's broken. Guardian, two bulldogs. Dropping the orb here. They're gonna challenge. That is not the way you wanted that to start. No, not at all. It was bold. Alone, struggling this game, has to save it now. Can they snatch this thing back? A bulldog and a guardian. Trying to provide some cover for the vandal in the hands of Les. It's tucked around there. Two behind them! The blades don't land! The That's blades it. don't land, and I thought there was going to be a pinch from Tuis, but there's not! Crew finds success on Pearl! The game against EG to end it all. Turret cleared, and that's the cue for Asbest to go. He took a little bit of damage. Ashetti just decided he was going to challenge in the Codburst and take the fight to Asbest. Crew seemed to be doing a very good job of holding him back, though. Loud never made their way out. Uh, nobody got through with Asbest there, and sure, he gets the kill. Again, he hasn't really given up a ton of space. He just spotted the drone that went to go try to clear wine. So he's still able to hold some of this line. It's gonna hurt though. Asbest looking for space. He's going into the smoke and surprise, Ashetti's there. It's traded back though, and now you're what? starting to see those guns make a difference. And that's the difference in the pistol round versus this one. All the play. Aspas needs to be able to clear this. And this can be the turret peak too. Great flash. Doesn't catch Kesnit though. Oh, it doesn't. And Kesnit He's staying? Aspas. Of course he does. Unreal. It seems to be working out though. <gasps> he got tagged. Clementine looking for a little bit more. Kesnit taking some damage, tries to go up high and tries to get away before HP somehow stays alive. Oh, oh the, the nade through the wall. Sadak. That's beautiful, but the look at them reclearing spawn. That's so smart from crew. Ahead of the possible pivot. There's no room here for it loud. Oh, I mean, they're just kind of stuck here. They have to. Spike down look how lost beat. Tui's was. Yeah, they have to stay in the bed that they made. No flashes either. They don't have them available anyways. Is that dash? Oh, we've seen this attempt a lot. 30 seconds left. It starts. Yeah, they tried to wake their, work their way through tree into spawn, and so far they've gotten a lot what? of control. Is Fast this gonna flood. work? Fast flood. Look at Let's though. He's in a position to reflank. Ah, but it made they didn't get the spike down. down. It took too long, and you're right, they didn't get the spike down. I thought they may have invested the ult from Les to secure the round, but they do not. He's missing right now from Sadak. Well, and also Ashetti's just positioning, right? It's wherewithal to stand on that off angle. And then to reflash himself. Oh, that's a mistake, though. There's no smoke on Cat for them to reclear. Cancels the drone, but he's in trouble. Do they commit? Yeah, it seems like they want to continue to go forward. Aspas down to one HP. They're trying to buy time for the flank here. Less makes it work. Can Aspas get out? That's the cue, right? That, that's what you imagine you're going to want to be rotating all They don't want to give up the rest, though. They don't want to give up the rest. It's coming. He's back up. And he's back down. Just like that. They get all the way through. Look at how far up Les is. He's in their spawn. There's an alarm bot down. Oh, and he updrafted with the paranoia. There. That is beautiful stuff from Aspas. The paranoia. Oh, that's hard. Dude, crew, aye, aye, aye. crew have to be cautious here. Oh, no. That one definitely hurts. And there's no follow-up, though, from Loud through Cat, but Bells are TPing out way too late on this smoke. He gives it a nice way to play around it, but gets paranoid, too. Paranoid, he got knife. He can't use any util. Somehow still alive, dancing around it, and he's too rewarded for How his is he still fighting? Last player standing. Eventually meets his demise, and Nags is the only one left standing on the opposite side of the map. So it's just going to be another round. A thousand percent. Every win, the, the three, so they've, uh, crew have played this map five times. They've won it three times. Every single by the drone now, and Aspas top of Jen. He doesn't find the kill. How? Honestly, I don't understand how, but either way. They're flooding. He stays alive. They're making this work. But if they flood too hard, the lockdown will be a problem. How are they getting these wins? Spike down. The blades show up, and that's around for crew. Smoke, they're going to go for it. Klaus, Kessnit are here. 
Melzer has his ult. He can go backside. They're both ulting at the same time. And it's just that Shetty, or excuse me, Melzer stays with it. Two is canceled. Goes for a flash instead. They still have the second phase. This is still not, this is still not secure. Jamie, this is still not secure. Melzer with three massive kills. I got the spike. Now Les, who's left to have to try to creep and sneak around the site. What a smoke. Put himself into a 1v1 if he can. He hears the reload. He's paranoid now. Left. Nearsighted, no challenge. Finally peeks through and Melser with four. What is that round from? Supposed to get out of that again though. Drone tag and Melser, what is that? That is way too much. That was bold. Paranoid while this is happening. That's dangerous. Cleared. No challenge. Kalantine still healthy in hell. Last feeling some of the pressure as Klaus falls. They haven't really been able to find their way out, but it's now just a one v two. They're both dark. And no Kesmit, time. Yeah, there's no time. He doesn't have an angle. He can't really take the fight. I mean, he could have. He definitely had time, but he doesn't have time to really work through the round. So he has to just go for some ridiculous spray down. They're chasing right now. Surprisingly loud is not stepping off the gas. Oh. Chaz is vacating space, and you just feel, I mean, watching this, you can feel just how, without being in the server, you can feel how oppressive defensive side can be. You just try to poke and prod and find any weakness, and there's nothing there. Yeah, but the tides are slightly shifting here, too, is with another opener on the wine. Melzer gets dominated. And he's been their hero. Kesman's gonna have to replicate that oh, success, and that'll do! Excuse me? But it's still a 1v1! Nagel of the Killjoys! He's a lot closer than you would have thought, and he's walking out the pillar, looking for space, looking for a face, looking for the kill. Got the space to plant. Finally pushing him off the angle, now less. <laughs> having to deal with the turret, too. He's plants his head, he swings around, and Nags get the 1v1! Look at this flash setup. Tuiz is trying to do something off contact, but they're up close with the smoke. They're going to swing through, and there's the big flash. They're going to fall back, and the smoke fades. They walk away with two big ones there. And the push from Sonic too. Helps. Spike down mid. Yep. That's the pistol lab we're looking for. I mean, a little fortunate there for them to walk right into their... Oh, he spots another. And that might not have broken this cat setup enough to break the trap play in mid. Droning up mid now. They're going to challenge again, and there it is. They do this time. So he's in trouble, he's the only player. Hey, Mauser's right here. He's paranoid, nearsighted, overwhelmed, done. That's gonna be the site for crew. Nice nade. Are they gonna try to funnel out quickly? Les is close by. Oh, there was a flash from Sadek too. He's re-clearing, kept walking and clearing tiles. At the same time, Nax is approaching. He got the kill. There's a Vandal now, I think, for Sadek to be able to pick up. Oh, I thought he was gonna get that kill. But he fell. Hasn't it walked away from that? Was off of those advantages that you were talking about. Look at how far up they were in AMA. And look, Tui's also prepping a flash so for the push into Tree. Oh, the miss though. Oh no. That's another kill going in favor of Crew, but Aspas is here to save the day. And doesn't have dart support there. There was one, but they were in the. Klaus close by. Now all numbers of loud have arrived. There is an Odin in the hands of Kamazine as well, so it's all going to be spam. Aspas once again going for something a little aggressive, and Ag's able to take care of it, but he's weak, and it all falls onto Klaus. Down in hell, a 1v2, and he's isolated this, but Les wins the duel. Woo. Aspas still with blades, no updrafts, he can't take high ground. Tethered to the ground for now is Klaus blind, nearsighted, but still getting kills, still finding value. Less than two, he's only two that remain, and crews still have so much strength in backside. They have so many defenses here. They've got three. Oh, Melzer goes up aggressive, gets the kill. Crew get the round. Is he gonna get it off? Because that could be key. Yeah, well, I mean, but what's the cue, right? Oh, maybe that's it. Yep, off the dart. There it is. The knife hit. But they still manage to wake their way out. Dart coming for Cowan Zine. There it is. And they're all Spike lit up, man. A. They're all exposed, but Tuiz, who was down to 11 HP, could not find a window to strike. And that smoke faded because of that suppression. He had to throw really early in this case, and loud, clean this up. Deny that no command.
Aspas low though, but Nelson does have his ult. If he gets the kill on Aspas, he could definitely make a break for it. Right into the belly. Oh, they're ready to go for this lockdown retake. A full retake on this site. This is bold to stay. And while it pays off, stay in sight. Two just singing his praises for discipline. And oh, I, I mean, I like this now. There's no more chances of that clutch. Round is over. Check, though. We can't see. Ah! Robbed. Possible here from Aspas. Yeah, he's going to go for a shark with no flash. Just the paranoia to the other side. And oh, the dark side of the rubs. Counts in with the spam through Cat, too. It's just everything mixed together. They just obliterated crew. What a call at just the right time. I just don't know that it's far up enough to really cause a threat. I like it. I mean, the, the nade is so late, and they don't even have to fall off a tree here. Too hard. Kalantin. Last time this happened, they got pinched. This time, Ashbos up heaven, and he's holding. And now, Kalantin's using his ult not to clear out the lockdown, but to clear out crew. Aspas down in hell. They've just established some heaven control, but Sana keeps him back. A 4K for the leader as loud take ascent. At Lockin, they brought it out and it looked great. Sadak on the race too. He's playing an awful. Holy mid presence. Everyone is here. Spike down. Kill's gone either way so far. The spike just sitting harmlessly across the middle of the map on the other side of the Viper wall. But he snatches it up. You're right now. They want to pivot towards A where. Celeste has already taken a lot of space, but the space is gone. I mean, fantastic Molly, that melted him. That was surprising. Was them to pay post from heaven here. This is really interesting. Can Aspas afford to be selective? Nope, Prison drops gone. the first. It cleared oh, the oh, oh. Come on, man. I mean, Melzer's worse for wear as well. 75 HP. He's dashing in, of course he is. Of course he is. Facing into the smoke. Into the kill and into the round for Loud. There was an Astro Star there, but Kesnit now dancing around. There's a flash for him. It's gotta be fast though. There it is. Even in the face of Molly, he's able to get the kill. Kesnit trying to play back sight. Eventually overwhelmed. And losing that flash ability from Klaus. That took so much space. Wouldn't be surprised to see another flash if it comes back up four yeah. to or four less up there. Or he just gets the kill on his own. Doesn't need it, and Tui's finding the timing as well. One enemy remains. Oh, Zin getting pressed, and he gets three. To find some way back into this, but the pressure's already on this B side. Remember, mid pressure into a hit. Aspas up and over. That's what played to even around the flash, like waiting until the flash goes, so for him to take that space, but Spike Melzer down, continuing D. to be a menace as an anchor. That's two for him. Oh no. Yeah, I think Klaus pulled off uh, just a little How's he alive? If he gets this kill, I'll be so mad. There we go. I said it. Gets oh. denied. Spike planted. The ult was the window. Kazan is going to show up late with the op. I and it's dropped. Oh my god. Safely get back to put it back up. Yeah, he's giving it up now too. But this Trailblazer is buying time and Kazan gets a kill with it. Spamming. On where the Trailblazer finds it so loud, find themselves back in a 3v5, just like last round, but the gun's here for crew. Signs of life now. Situation slightly different here. Klaus Flash, Kesna dead. I mean, there's oh, no way. Cow and Zena is such a monster in these situations. Uh, next? <laughs> no way. Dude, on demand, loud start with a ridiculous lead here, and they're probably getting up to seven right now. Look at the flank from Lus again. He's consistently in screens, man. You called it too, it was different. It's a different 3v5, oh, oh, but oh, 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 oh. they don't drop a single member. I love it. Toxins going up. Nags, and once again, getting pressed. He's got the judge. He's gonna oh, have a lot of targets finally, here. Finally, there it is. Spike, Spike down, down two. Sadek has to recover. Can you? Yes. <laughs> I was not expecting to say yes. I was expecting to say no. I wasn't either. <laughs> Less again. I, if they bring this one back, I'm going to lose my mind. Crew might as well. Oh, dear. All right, that secures it, surely. Surely. Yeah. Surely. Yeah. Sadak gets a spike. This damage done. He's playing for the Molly as well. And Les is going to find timing. He's gonna find value. 
player no, stands. they can't do it. Kills found. Deep flash and it's gonna get some info. Sadak is weak. Woo. Advantage again. We've seen this too many times. <laughs> three to be pulled, another three to be five. What is that, Klaus? This is silly. Poison's on. Looks like Ash Eddie may find a timing across mid too as the walls go down. They've got the heaven repeak too. Out of the dax. Ooh. One enemy remaining. That is smoke from Kesson as well to help out. Look at the position though from Melzer. He should secure it. There's no way he's. Ex How are you expecting this? Oh, and I thought he almost. I, he was so close to getting the kill. <laughs> he had the crosshair placement before it. Yeah. Crew second. They're spawning. Control away from Nags. And Nags have been really passive on that approach, but look at this double up setup. One player on the pillar, one player in main. They're never going to expect this. And then one in spawn, too. Oh, the first is down. I mean, they don't need to expect it if they're taking out everybody else. Oh! Woo! Oh! He was cold! Elzer in main, too. He's pressuring Kalanzini. He has to go up new box. And Crew have just put together three in a row. All of a sudden, they're still in. Show, kid. Wasn't he just getting healed? Yes. Ay, ay, ay. Poison's on. I... Mm. Yeah, I mean, the rounds are louder. Fuck up together and take duels. So less. normally he's in a lurking position trying to find advantage by himself, but here they can go for advantage by trading. Because they're trying to buy some time and provide some oh. cover, but Asmus wants to hunt. What a molly. Enemy it's so free. Asmus, by the way, switched to the Vandal in the middle of this game. <laughs> One point from Blades now. And a flawless round for Loud. Blazer 2. Pressured and look at Les, he's out. Kesley might have just spotted him, but I don't think so. Oh, no. So Blades, but they're traded right back. Class from Heaven trying to find a little bit more as Aspas goes aerial. What a weird cosmic divide. Yes. There's nobody in the site. And that gives Tuiz the opportunity to backstab. Mm. Misses his chance. Dude, Aspas does not have a dash, but he does have the knives. And Sadak does have two satchels, so a little bit of mobility in play here. Nag's holding the line, standing. and he holds it well. And Aspas is just going to be overwhelmed. He's trying to buy his time, and it's just too much. It's just too much. This is, again, I mentioned a moment ago. Crowd full and an aid here. Klaus needs to get out of it. And they get out of it by sending three into spawn. Ah, oh, there's no way you expect this if you're too easy, yeah. He's alone too. It's surprising to see Kalanzin so late on the rotate. Less and frenzies. Getting one. Sadak trying to dance around, looking for another, and he cannot. Looks like we're gonna trade pistols again here. Pass fast with the dash. Proc from far away. They've identified where one is. That flash looking to set Aspas up and it does buy him some space and it buys him some time to work his way Player forward standing. right into Klaus's crosshair though. This triple swing is brutal to deal with though. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I'm gonna be here too is though. Sadak's helping him. And Kesnit's separated. He's up by himself. Ash Eddie can join very quickly with the two satchels but Kesnit back sight. Now Ash Eddie shows up and it's too late. His comrade's already dead. Getting a little bit more pressure. One enemy remaining. Two is with three on the round. That was a clean one. Klaus has to do it all on his own as two is gets four. Loud stop him. In all it does is buy time. All you're doing is distracting Loud from the main objective here. Doesn't have a grab. Oh, actually, he does. He has a star on the spike already. Steve is going to be difficult. How does Nags get that kill? There was a stun at his feet. Nags gets another. Looking for any target that dare swing into his crosshair. Oh, last person got the spray control. Another round for crew. Kalantin's in a position where he can get punished here if Les is not able to stop them from coming through heaven. They're going for the reclear in main. Les is the only one close by here. There's going to be a little help. Oh, oh my gosh. Yeah, Kalantin is an absolute beast. 
this does go back to, I believe you were the one who said this earlier, it, it feels like when ladder winning their rounds, it's just dominant, right? They just obliterate their opponents, it's clean. Yeah. I said that in the first. He's feeling some of this pressure with the op, but he's put himself in a position where he can oh, get oh, away. Oh. This is terrible for him. Well, is he gonna get away? <laughs> Dancing around the mm. walls and the flashes. Oh! oh, oh I had Sada 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 Sada. Sada. Okay. So, yeah. I mean, that was not Sada. <laughs> we'll have to see that one from right now, but he's in big trouble. That flash that spotted there was a player through that wall now forces him to be in a pinch and play out of this. Sadak has to save him again. Do they clear him though? I don't know why you would. They vacated the space! And now Blade's on for Aspas! Last player standing. Soul shots! What a mess. What a mess. Up online for Aspas, now two in a row for Lyle. So he's putting down that orb. Viper pin in mid. It's Twitch. Tui's back site. Hasn't been cleared. I mean, between him and Aspas. That's as good as it gets. That was such a quick rotate oh! too, but that's Eddie. The substitute. Potentially a star in the making if he continues to make plays like that. Missed shot. And a shot at this for crew. One enemy, one enemy remaining. 1v1 one now. As fast week. 10 HP. And the op. Meanwhile, Melser. With all of the options before him, you wonder here. He's so patient. How is he waiting for him to peek out elbow? Yeah, I don't. Now he goes. Dead oh. before he hit the ground. My Gimelzer for so long. They're hitting the side anyways. No pivot. Call. They invested uh, so much. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Another. Kaznis, what? Uh, Two no, times no. they get in spawn like that. That was fast too. But 3v5. Three of you see opportunity to run up here, but it's being held on ramp. They've got to be able to reestablish having control. That's what it's planned for. Aspas has already dashed his way out onto the site. Melser has it both weak as Aspas gets a third. Oh no. Now they're trying to re explore, and this was the plan all along, but Les was ahead of it. And that flash just cleared ramp, too, so they know he's top heaven. And the defuse is going to come in before he can even get there. Loud. And this was of their own making. Obviously, they lost Pearl early on. That should have been their map win. Given the history. 30 seconds left. Crew relegated to go into the only area of the map that they have not explored, and that's towards A, and that's when the Seekers are in their face. Aspas with a warning shot, a second misses, but Nax falls, still. just One three left, oh, no. and they all fall just like that. Loud bend, but they don't break, and the perfect series continues.